Welcome back, everybody. So, The Walking Dead Season 1, Episode 2. So, what do I like about this episode? There's a lot more that happens in this. I generally like it. We get a follow-on after the end of the first episode where Rick is stuck in the tank and Glenn is trying to help him to get out of this tank. But it's, it just comes to a case of, like, you just got to make a run for it. And it's that simple. There's nothing he could really do. And you get that feel of tension in this and kind of suspenseful film pretty much all the way through this kind of episode i like what they did it's just one of my favorite episodes i have to be honest with you out of this whole first season there's you get to meet more of the characters in this series you get a sense of what a lot of them are going through how this is what's going on is affecting them and part of this gang is literally in Atlanta trying to scavenge for stuff like doing a scavenger run to try and help or get supplies back for the gang where they're all camped up and there's quite to be honest with you, there is a lot in here to be fair you get to see the relationship uh, between or the kind of yeah it's the relationship between um, Shane and Laurie in this where they're technically having an affair but to be, to be honest with you he where she doesn't really know she thinks that her husband rick grimes is dead you get it and all that kind of stuff which does change very very quickly in the next episode i will admit and there's just these it's just that i just was like it's not on on your edge you see kind of entertainment it's just something of how they made this or the way they betrayed this you know, and I, this is what I enjoyed, even like we're in the shopping mall and you've got all the walkers around and they're trying to find a way out to the point where they can figure out that the only way really they're going to get out is that they smother themselves with zombie blood and guts and all that to try and try and get a way out. And it's just well done. Now, I'm trying to avoid spoilers just a little bit, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. But if you haven't seen it, you'll understand exactly what I'm saying. <coughs> when you see it other bits that i like in this you get to start to see how much of a leader rick is in this episode he really starts to take control he has a lot of power over this and you can get to see what kind of strength he actually kind of has especially when he basically takes down merv dixon and to be honest with you merv is pretty much an asshole in this and you get it i mean i he thinks he's better than everybody else and then Andrew Lincoln comes along, or Rick Grimes comes along, and basically shows him otherwise. That's another element I like, but the main element is you get to see the development of his leadership skills, to be honest with you, which do kind of take its toll on him towards the end of this season, but that's reviews for later on. But you just get that, you know, he is the leader, he wants to be, he, he knows what he's doing, or he kind of knows what he's doing, you know, all that kind of stuff. And he's just one of those naturally born leaders. This is the kind of thing or the feel you get from this episode. Other parts is the way they got out of this uh, mall as well. I generally liked it. They used it, made a distraction to get them out. And you do, again, you get that sense of tension in this episode. <coughs> oh, there's so much. I just, I just generally really enjoy this episode. It is as simple as that. It is quite suspenseful. It's not like properly on your edge of your seat kind of um, entertainment where you're wondering. There is certain points where you do wonder if anybody's going get, to get out alive. There is a nice scene with, not a nice scene, there is a scene with Merv as well where, you, see this one's a bit, it's brutal but it's also kind of justified in a kind of way that scene with Merv and it's kind of like he's just desserts because he is comes across as such an asshole there's that sense that, that what's happening to him or what happens to him is that kind of karma and yeah you kind of feel for him but then again you don't as well and that's another element i enjoy as well I, this this whole episode is just a damn enjoyable entertaining watch for simple reasons as you get a bit more character development you get to see Rick Grimes basically start to take control or become a leader of this group. And you, like I said, you just develop more emotional attachment to the characters in this series, which is awesome because I wouldn't watch a series if I didn't like the characters that are in this set. And it's as simple as that. So on that note, please tell me what you think. Put it in the comments down below as normal. I hope you all have a great rest of the day. Whatever you're doing, please take care and goodbye.